Hi, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how you can manage your executive assistant duties in Priority Matrix better. You're in the middle of everything, managing needs from people for your executive and managing the needs of your executive for everyone else. You're the gatekeeper, you're constantly balancing requests against the executive's priorities, and you're the communication tower. How do you keep everything in line? Priority Matrix can help you by creating a workspace where you can pull everything together. Using the prioritization method, you can prioritize requests, communicate information from the executive to others and others to the executive, organize tasks, and manage any other projects that you need to. I'm going to show you how. Because we want to help you divide and conquer, every project in Priority Matrix has four quadrants. Typically, we tend to categorize by important versus urgent. Do now, it's important and it's urgent. Plan to do, it's important but you've got some time. Hand off, not important but it's urgent. And then uncategorized. However, for the executive assistant function, I've suggested changing the quadrant four to requests. This will help you work on things that need to be done now by either you or your executive, things that are planned, things that neither of you should worry about, and then requests coming in for your executive. As you can see, you can create so many different types of items. A reminder about a meeting, a task about an office move, a holiday party, or a random realization that you need to research and order a printer. For requests, you can import an email asking whether your executive can have a meeting with someone next week. Many of these requests you might know the answer to, so you won't need to import them. But rather than forwarding an email to your executive, you can just move it in here, assign it to them, and they can answer yes or no when they have the time. As an example, this was an email that I imported. The body of the email is in the notes. The title of the item is now, is what the subject of the email was. And then I added extra details. For example, I checked that the night is free, asking if they wanted to go. They did want to go. This was originally here. I moved it to quadrant two, and I added a due date. Who knows, this could turn into quadrant one. Something might need to be done that is a little bit more urgent. Any added, added context can be added in the comments, in the links, in the notes, or in the files. Another thing to be aware of is you don't need to keep everything in this one project because it's the central project that is going to help you and your executive collaborate and manage the most important things. However, say you want to work on everything that needs to be done for a holiday party. You may not want to put everything here. You can simply create a project for the holiday party, add the tasks, and then if you want to give your executive the ability to drill down on the specifics but not be distracted by them, all you do is right click, select get link to this project, and paste it in the holiday party task. This is a live link area allowing you to double click, open link, and go to the smaller project. Once again, this is dividing and conquering by categorization. Finally, I mentioned these requests, and yes, you can move emails into priority matrix as items. However, there's one more thing that you can do. You can get an email address to this quadrant. This means that anyone with that email address can create an item. They simply send an email and they put the title of the task or item in the subject line and any extra details in the notes. They will then send the email to a particular email address, which you will find by right clicking, selecting get email address and clicking and copying to your clipboard. While you may not want to give this to everyone, there are specific situations where it might be helpful to simply have requests be sent right to this quadrant. Then of course you have the ability to filter, sort it out, weed it, and only decide which ones you want to assign to your boss. However, this is a way that you could manage and better sort through requests, tasks from your boss, reminders for your boss, and any other files or pieces of information that you want to keep hold of. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful.